Hello and welcome to me in Ukraine's podcast. With these podcasts, we'll bring you news and updates from Ukraine. My name is Klaas Pot and these are the headlines of today. In the liberated territories in the province of Kharkiv, Ukrainian law enforcement officers have discovered 10 torture chambers, six of which are located in the city of Izium. Near Izium, the bodies of 22 civilians and 17 Ukrainian soldiers have been exhumed from a mass burial site. The bodies show clear signs of torture and maiming. The Ukrainian soldiers had their hands tied behind their backs. The site counts over 440 graves. Apart from this site, at least 50 bodies of murdered civilians have been found across the liberated territory in Kharkiv over the past week. President Volodymyr Zelensky has called on the world to recognize Moscovia as a terrorist state, so that the atrocities committed by the Moscovian army in places like Bucha, Mariupol and Izium will not happen again. I'm afraid that more of such places will be discovered as Ukraine liberates more and more territory. What we found on Twitter. Moscovian frontier guards do not allow those who received an orc passport in occupied territories since 2014 to cross the border. The fate of Moscovian passport holders to be outcasts, not only in the world, but also in their beloved Moscovia. Motherland will leave you behind, son always. An article stated, the West's weapons won't make any difference to Ukraine. This reply, how are you senior political scientists and defense analysts doing now? That's all great, but did you ever liberate your own mama's village? Ukrainians keep fighting for their land and for their families, for happy reunions of sons and daughters with their parents and fathers and mothers with their children. Sadly, many Ukrainian families will not have a happy reunion as many gave their lives in the fight against evil. That was it for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Slava Ukraini.